This is Manos Brilakis, and this is case 166 for the manual of CTO interventions. This is a case highlighting use of the STAR technique in contemporary CTO PCI. The patient was referred for PCI of a circumflex coronatotal occlusion. The patient had severe refractory angina. The occlusion had a well-defined proximal cap and then a good quality distal vessel. There were some collaterals coming from the right coronary artery that did not have significant disease as, as confirmed by using intracoronary physiology. Looking at the characteristics of the CTO of the circumflex on dual injection, there is a well-defined proximal cap, length of about 30 millimeters, good quality distal vessel that was filling via epicardiac collaterals mainly from the LAD but also from the right coronary artery. Those collaterals were not deemed to be interventional, therefore the plan was to proceed with undergrade wire escalation, and if that did not work, to use undergrade dissection and re-entry. A turn pike spiral catheter was used along with a Sion Black that went into the subintimal space. We tried parallel wiring using a Gaia next to guide wire, but despite attempts, we were actually unable to enter into the distal trulumen. We therefore decided to try re-entry, which was attempting delivering a stingray balloon. Delivery of the stingray was uh, difficult. We had to advance the guide wire a little further distally. And then we were able to get the stingray and after aspirating from the side port of the stingray, we did the re-entry attempts using the stick and swap technique. We did the stick with an Astato 20 and the swap for the Pilot 200. And the wire did actually enter into a branch, but this was the inferior branch of the obtuse marginal, not the main vessel that was going along the lateral wall of the heart. We had a lot of difficulty this time advancing a guide wire into the course of the obtuse margin, but eventually using the base technique, the side base, with um, a balloon inflated next to the origin of the inferior branch, we were finally able to advance a Sion Black guide wire along the course of the obtuse margin. There was at this point significant hematoma, so we used that balloon to block undergrade flow of blood and then aspirated through a microcatheter. There was some expansion of the vessel and we can see that the guide wire is in the subintimal position. We then did again attempts for the entry using the stingray balloon. We actually had to use a new stingray balloon because the old one could not be delivered. And then after using an Astato 20 and again a Pilot 200, the wire seemed to enter a course across the course of the vessel. We had still difficulty with visualization so we use a technique of advancing a microcatheter and transducing the pressure, which seemed to have an arterial waveform, which thought was suggestive of true lumen position distally. And as a result, we decided to stand. We delivered a 2.5 by 35 millimeter drag eluting stand that was deployed. But unfortunately, there was flow into that inferior branch, but no flow into the superior main obtuse margin which meant that the wire, as we can see here, was actually not in the true lumen, but it was still in the subintimal position. What to do at this time? This is when we decided uh, to use the STAR technique. We used a polymer jacketed stiff guide wire, the Gladius Mongo. And after multiple passes, we were actually able to restore undergrade flow into the superior branch of the obtuse marginal and uh, uh, obtain the satisfactory final result although there are still evident dissections within the course of the vessel. Multiple lessons from this case. The first one is that the circumflex CTOs can be challenging. There is often significant tortuosity that is not always easily to appreciate on the angiogram. Here we had the wire entered into an inferior branch and we used the, the side base technique, essentially inflating a balloon halfway in, halfway out and advancing another wire to go into the course of the vessel. We did use the stick and swap technique and we thought we were true lumen. And we actually did use the transduction of pressure through microcatheter, which seemed to be arterial. But in this case, we were wrong and actually we were still in the false lumen or the extra plaque location. 
And the solution to the problem, after we placed actually a stand in the subintimal space, was to use the STAR technique with a stiff polymer jacketed wire that essentially created a connection between the subintimal space and the distal ultralumen that restored undergrade flow. The patient did have complete resolution of symptoms. However, in most of those cases, we have the patient return about uh, two months uh, afterwards to finish the procedure and play stand if needed distal in the vessel. Thank you.